sky Feel the ground shaking underneath Trying to take me alive Hello and welcome back to a final. I know we said last week with the final, but it's not really, was it? I mean, it was the final predictions, but obviously right now it is the results. And uh, as much as I've already spoken to Anthony and Kate about the results, uh, and I'm sure Anthony's passed on the message to Rich about his results, um, but either way, uh, it'll be interesting to talk about them online as well. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in. As I say, it is the, the season has now ended. That is it. That is it. The EFL is over. So next season, obviously with Burnley now being a Premier League team, just sneak that one in there, um, we'll be doing Premier League predictions as of next season. Uh, and the two guys in the video in, that's coming up in a moment will be joining us. We'll be joining us next season for these Premier League predictions. So it should be uh, a barrel of laughs uh, as per usual. Guys, thank you very much for everyone tuning in. The love and support this season has been absolutely fantastic. So thank you. Um, you can check us out on social media platforms. We are all over them. Um, so please do go check us out. Here's just a few places where you can check out Turf More House TV. So, yeah, keep it coming. Keep the love coming. Please do go check us out on those social media platforms and get yourselves involved. Just a couple of highs in the chat to say, too, before we get to everyone. Um, bring them on camera. The streamer elements bots running. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Nate's in the chat. says, what up, Dan? Hope you're well. Hope we're still in the Premier League next year to play Burnley. Obviously, Nate, being a Leicester City supporter, it's looking a little bit bleak for them. However, I think you should be all right. As long as the players can pull a, well, a rabbit out of a hat, maybe. Uh, I'd rather see Leeds or Everton go down than yourselves. Um, but you're, you are right. It isn't looking good. M Max in. How are you? Uh, banging intro of that. I'll have to change it to uh, Premier League badges at some point. Uh, but I'll be working on that once we've got a confirmed playoff winner. Uh, Sumner's in the chat. How are you doing, Mr. S? Uh, says, hi, Daniel. How is things with you, pal? Uh, my ginger brother from another mother. Uh, hope you are well as well. Matt Green's in. It says, evening, Dan. Hope you're all well, mate, with everything. You're smashing it. Appreciate that. Massively appreciate that. Trying every day. Uh, it's a struggle, but we're here, aren't we? So might as well make the most of it. Uh, Luke's in. Massive hate to yourself. A supporter of Nottingham Forest. Another team could be uh, nigh on deep in the shit come the end of this season. Uh, Burnley to our dads in. Greetings to yourself. Uh, big evening, Um to Colin as well. Hope everything's good with yourself. Martin Zinn says, Dan, how's things? Did you enjoy the other day with all the Burnley fans celebrating? It was a blast, weren't it? It was absolute blast. Um, as Kate says there as well, she's going to be in the chat throughout this. Champions, champions. Um, and Bill Stan asks us, we've got VAR on here from next season. Uh, well... That's the one thing I'm not looking forward to, uh, VAR, mate. I'll be honest with you, but hey, it comes it comes with the territory. Um, Henry's in the chat as well. How are you? How is everyone? Hope everyone is good, as is Rene as well. Um, right. 
Let's bring him in. This is a man who needs no introduction. Um, I mean, I'm glad I brought a glass because if it was made of plastic and in the shape of a bottle, it'd have probably been round me out in a flash. It's Anthony Herbert. How are you doing? You all right? <laughs> you right, Dan? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Looking forward to this one. Um, you know, obviously the results of the prediction and just, you know, just talking about, you know, I, I take it the season so far and, you know, with our teams, are, are we happy if, with our teams this season and that? So, yeah, it's going to it's gonna be an interesting one. And also, um, it'd be an interesting one in the championship uh, next season. I, I know yourselves are not there, but it's like what I said, I've, like what you said as well, we'd be there next season because me and my brother, we do support Premier League teams. We do keep up with Premier League as well. So, you know, my team can, fingers crossed, hopefully win the Premier League. Uh, well, you never know. You never know. Never know. Um, Rennie says, congratulations for Burnley promoted to the Premier League. No, I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate that. And obviously, uh, Emma says, can't wait to get you on the channel, Dan. It will be a blast. Yeah, like I say, whenever I'm free, I will try and get myself over there. Um, but you just keep letting me know and I'll keep put, letting you know when, uh, when things come about. Uh, and if one Bristolian isn't bad enough... <laughs> Why, yeah, he, why not involve his brother as well? <laughs> How are we doing? If you're a Monty yeah, Harlan fan, right. you'll understand who this guy is. It's Biggest Dickus. <laughs> <laughs> a good one. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? You good? I'm all right, mate. Yeah, and yourself? Yeah, I'm all right. Got smile wide enough. Hangover. Hangover after last weekend's celebrations? No, surprisingly not. Surprisingly not. I uh, I had a bit of a steady one. Didn't didn't oh, get right. too didn't get too heavy. Um, yeah, I was I was actually quite well behaved for a change. For a show, must be on the shandy um, then. That, that's that's what I'm on now. I'm on the shandy now. I had a beer left in the fridge, and I thought it's going to last me two minutes. So I thought I'll, I'll half it and stick some lemonade in. <laughs> Why not? What it is, Rich, is three thirds of a pint of lemonade. And a dash of beer. <laughs> nah, I saw that. I got one of them big bottles, but uh... nothing surprises me. I'm with the Northerners. Oh, hey, we heard. Have you heard? I can knock it back. Trust me. Trust me. Jack Daniels to me is like pop. You'll try some of this. That's what you want to try. A full liter bottle at Christmas on Christmas Day. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to touch that shit. God, I've not had black thorn cider since I was about fifteen. Yeah, what black thorn was it? I don't know, but it tastes like shit. And you had the cheap one, that's why you want the dear stuff. <laughs> yeah, I had quick save spanners, mate. That's what that's what I had back in there. <laughs> I think it was but white to see it. It. <laughs> I mean Billy to our dad says he, he was rough as toast on Tuesday. Don't blame so any true. claret for getting like that. Don't blame what any What was he claret. saying about um, the King's Carnation? <laughs> Nobody's celebrating that. I mean, it's fine. He's a claret anyway. We'll let him have his day. We'll let him have his day. Yeah. Um, I mean, the season's over, boys. The season's over. Yeah. Um, yeah. Rich, I, obviously, I'll come to you first. Bristol City. Any anything from this point onward? Next season's going to be a bonus, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said this season, I didn't predict a lot to be honest with you. Um, well, I'm hoping next season we can get a few transfers in and a few, few decent players have a bit of a clear out down there because I think second half of the season we had a good run that we played Man City in the cup and after that it went a lot stale. So I think there's a few players we need to shift on, grab a few more in and hopefully get up in the playoffs or, you know, up, up. would you not like for a second challenge? It'd be a big if, but you never know in football, do you? Do you think you'd have to sell um, Alex Scott, who's been absolutely phenomenal for you this year? Do you think you'd have to sell yeah. him to have the, to get the finances to build a squad worthy of challenging? Um, <coughs> I think I'd, I know well, ideally you'd want to keep him, but obviously yeah, on the flip side, the, the financial aspect sorry, of that de yeah. of that deal could help the club long term, couldn't it? Yeah, it do. I think our when we get a good player like Semenya went to uh, Bournemouth in January, I think our board just looks at the, you know, the, the money and, and that's it. And, well, I think it'd be a big loss to our club, obviously, if we do go. But 
if they if you do go, then obviously there should be money there in the pot, obviously to strengthen the squad next season. So, yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. I think there can't be more, uh, a few more good players down there, obviously out of contract as well, and they could be looking to move on. But you never know if they, if they sell them, they sell them. I mean, like you said, football nowadays is not just about the sport and the passion; it's the business side of it as well. So. No, there is that. There is that. And uh, obviously, you're a Man- Manchester United supporter as well, obviously. Oh, yeah. Back to my man fan, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you're not happy happy with the top four finish this season? I am and I'm not. I want them to get in the Champions League qualification, but a part of me thinks if they do, and they got some, like, they do shift some of that wood they got there, I think next season they could be embarrassed in the Champions League. We've been embarrassed in the Europa League this season, so you know, stronger teams in that sort of competition, you think, well, do we really want to be in it? So I want them to get there, don't get me wrong, but if we don't, I, I'm not going to be too sort of like worried about it. But I think they've had, I mean, I, I'm happy with the first season, you know, there's a trophy in the bag, but it seems like they've won that trophy and they've been on the beach since, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, Although you do have you do have the uh, FA Cup to contend with against the uh, the nice well, neighbours. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we beat them because if you go through their run of the FA Cup this year, they knocked Arsenal out, then they knocked Bristol City out, then they put Burnley out. So they got Man United next. So one of our teams got just a, a beat them, haven't they? <laughs> it's a sh- it's a shame. It's not going to be Manchester United. Uh, <laughs> no, you no, never know. One off. You never know. Whoever turns up on the day is how it goes. I mean, Anthony, uh, you know, you obviously watch Bristol City from your armchair, but uh, I mean, so you get a good, <laughs> so you get a, you get a really good view. Um, I mean, what what have you made of your own town club this year? Jeez, that the time. Fucking hell, I've got to go to bed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, do you know what? It, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, with Bristol City this season, we, we always finish his round about mid table, just under mid table, which we have this season. He was going on about Alex Scott. Um, obviously, I don't want him to leave, but you know, if a very good offer comes in, and I mean, if a very good offer comes in, um, our chairman Steve Lansdowne, he most probably accept it. Um, but Bringing players in next season is 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 just going to be it's just going to be the same. In all fairness, he's just going to be so and so here for free, you know, in from free. This guy from fucking Wickham, um, guy from Forest Green, you know, it'd be that sort of stuff next season. We might get one where we play where where, where well where we splash like something like what maybe two or three million on a player, but. You know that that may probably be it because every chairman that we've had down there from past to present, as far as me, you know, my brother can remember, Rich, um, they're uh, they're they're tight. To be honest with you, Dan, they um, this is one thing that they never do with Dan Bristol City is open up the wallet. You know, I mean, <laughs> just obviously, as you say, splash the cash. That's all it is. Just splash. Well, it. Just all you, you gotta do. All you gotta do is splash the cash, and you know oh, I'm yeah. talking sense. You know I'm talking sense. So, Dick, listen to your big bro. You know I'm talking sense. Well, if you were around, you'd have got more than me on the scores this week, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's only one champion only. <laughs> hey, Dan, did you notice then when you had done the wallet? Do you see all his moss flying out? <laughs> Hey, there's no moss in my wallet. I'll tell you what, the, were they moths? They must have been in there a while. They were bloody size of bats for them. No, there's, there's, there's some money in there. I, I'm not going to die. You know, but this is, had, what, this is what our notes. teams need to do. is splash the you've cash. Had that, you've had that notes in that wallet since Arsenal last won European trophy. <laughs> he bought them online. They're all fake. <laughs> <laughs> that was 1992, the Cup Winners' Cup final. <laughs> I thought it was four. Did Alan Smith score? Oh, Alan Smith. Yeah, Alan Smith yeah. scored the goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the in the final. But then again, we won it. I think we won it the um, we won it the year after that as well, or two years after that as well. So, I mean, talking about got... Arsenal, Anthony. I mean, yeah, it's just. <sighs> You know, it, it would have been nice to see, as much as there's been a bit, a few run-ins between Burnley and Arsenal over the last couple of years, 
And from like a fan perspective, it's become a bit of a backhanded rivalry, shall we say, just because of how many late decisions, late drama in the games between Burnley and Arsenal. Um, I just think I, it would have been nice to see a different title holder. However, you know, City are doing the business at the moment and they're trying to, you know, knock you off that perch with the hat, which they have. Um, but you're still, you know, you're not letting them close that door yet. You've still put your foot there as if to say, uh, not just yet, we're still knocking. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, we, and we've got to be. I think um, I think the good news is, is that run that they had in the uh, the Champions League, you know, the last game they had against Real Madrid, you know, obviously playing away and, and getting the point there. Uh, for Man City, um, you know that, that 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 was a brilliant job for them, and then coming back now, when, when, well, I call it the empty ad. So coming back to the empty ad, um, they got the home fans in their armchairs, um, you know, bringing them up, cheering them on, and um, and that. So hopefully they can win that and go to and get to the final. Uh, regarding the Premier League, it turns out that if Man City. Well, the maximum points that Arsenal can finish on now is 90. But they've got to beat Brighton, Forest and Wolves. That's their last three games. They've, they've, they win all of them. Your, They're on your downfall points. really was not performing in that game against City, wasn't it? It was. But then again, I, I, I can actually pick the West Ham game and also the Southampton game. Because if we would have won those two, we would have been... And if Man City wins their game in hand, we would have been on the same points... I mean, don't get me wrong, we would have been second, but it would have just been goal difference separating us. And I would have preferred that at this present time than points. So, you know, we can, you know, hopefully, I, I, I hope that, um, is it, uh, I think it's Everton, uh, Man City got coming up soon. They beat Brighton 5-1. Nobody expected that. Not even I expected that to, for Everton to beat Man City. Um, no, sorry, and Everton got uh, a decent result against you lot on the... Uh... On Dash's debut as well. Yeah, yeah. And um, I just think that they can take that into the Man City game. And even, even if it's a point, a draw, you know, it, it, it's, it's still helpful um, for us. So, you know, it's, uh, but if they can lose, if they can lose a game, then I, I think with Arsenal, they're, they're, they're right back in it sort of thing more than now. So it, it's, it's going to be tough, but I, I think there's going to be a twist. To it, um, last game of the season is going to be Dubai. between obviously the player, the two teams <laughs> that's going to be we're trying to win the league, and the two teams, well, basically the teams at the bottom that are uh, not getting relegated. So, look, you throw me that. <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> what do you say? When you said there would be a twist in it, I went, yeah, the bottle. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, Premier League aside, back to EFL matters. Um, any teams that has, has surprised you in this, this season in the Championship? I mean, I'll start, oh. I'll start with you. I'll start with you, Rich. Um, who, who surprised you the most? Um, I mean, when you sort of look at the table at the beginning of the season, you get your Premier League size so comes down, you automatically think they're going to be in the mix, like you lot were, and everything. But the team has surprised me the most this season. I mean, obviously, after the 46 games, I'll probably have to go as Coventry City. Um, yeah, I didn't want them to be out there, you know, come last game of the season to be in the mix with the playoffs. So they've shot me this season, but you know, they've had some good results and everything. And the, I think what it is is. It's not about playing it. I think when you've got morale as well, I think that comes like into the uh, equation with it as well. So Dave Morland shot me commentary. It would surprise me if they go on to do it. I mean, there's some good sides in there. Middlesbrough, um, you know, uh, Luton and everything. They've been in their surprise package as well. Luton, but it was in there last season, wasn't they? They, they fought in the, the semis or the final they got beat. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean because they were in and about. Yeah, they were probably they? Definitely, definitely commentary for me has been a surprise package this season because I wouldn't pre- I would have predicted them to be down there with the like Rotherham's and the Wiggins like for a uh, relegation battle, but proved me wrong and they've shot me. So, yeah. No, it's true. I mean, Max is there. What season for Cov? 
but it's been on the cards. Mark Robinson's done a brilliant job. Six years ago, they were relegated to League Two. It is an it yeah. is amazing the actual transformation they've had. Um, again, like I say, they stuck with Mark Robbins. They've had a lot of shit off the field as well in terms yeah. of like yeah. the stadium yeah. and having to yeah. play at Birmingham and other other teams' stadiums. Um, but they've just now signed a five year lease of their own ground. The financial aspect of promotion for Coventry, whether it's put on, you know, spent on players on the pitch or not, just that financial um, yeah. packet is going to be enough to sustain that club for a little, a few, a good few years longer. Yeah, yeah definitely. I hope they do it, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, I like to see this, well, Coventry's not a small club, but obviously in the last 10, 12 years, it's wherever they, you know, I'd like to see them come back up to the Premier League as well. And like you said, with the financial package they get there, and I think that sustained the club for a good six, seven more seasons. Like, what is it now for promotion in the playoffs? Is it 200, 210 million? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. That's better than winning the league, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So, no, first start to know they do it. I, I, I hope they prove a lot of people wrong in my commentary. Get us up there next season. They go, I mean, I went at the ground going back years ago. We had an FA Cup we played when we beat them 2 0. It was a league above us. And I looked around Tuesday night and I thought, what a lovely stadium this is. Yeah, it's a, it's a big, nice stadium. Is Well, it's, yeah. it was originally the Rico Arena, weren't it? And before it became That's CBS it. Arena, yeah. but changed the names more than Anthony changes his, his underpants. So I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, as Mark says there, the playoff final is the biggest game in the world. I mean, Anthony, who surprised you? Your brother said Coventry. I mean, any other team in and around it or opposite end of the table that you've sort of been surprised by? I think there's a few, uh, Dan. I could pick out a few. I could, be, I can, I could put Luton in that category. Um, let's, let's not forget Sunderland. You know, Sunderland yeah. finishing in the playoffs as well. That, that, that'd be fantastic. Um and also, let, let's not forget what um, a certain Neil Warnock has done with uh, Uddersfield, you know, at the yeah, other end of the that's, table. that's been remarkable, is that? And um, I, I think he's done a very good job, Neil Warnock. I, I, I feel that if he's there next season, which is more likely he most probably will be, I think Uddersfield could be a team to watch my next season. I, I really do. Um, yeah, I think, I think know, Warnock's gone. I think Warnock has gone now. That's it for him. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. A, it's a shame, really, because they, they need someone like that to um to get you know to 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 take them up um up to, well top half of the table if you like uh with other sport. But whether they whether they get the right manager there, but I just wish them all the luck. But yeah, uh, Sunderland and Luton. I mean, look at the uh, the teams that's finish uh, in the playoffs. You know, you've got Sunderland, you've got Luton, you've got Middlesbrough. And also, you've got uh, who else for, uh, finished there as well? Sheffield United, wasn't it? No, Sheffield United was second. Oh, so it's Luton, Coventry, Middlesbrough, Coventry. That's England. it. Coventry and Coventry as well. So I think the playoff final. I mean, the the way they work, do they still work it out now? As they is like um like six six place four. Yeah. In, uh, yeah. Something like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then obviously third place fifth. So. If that's the case, then I don't not I can't remember who it is. It, I reckon it'd be Middlesbrough <clears throat> in the final. I think it'd be Middlesbrough, and um, I think it might be Middlesbrough. It, I think it can be Middlesbrough and Sunderland final because they they were working they were working it out. It said it could be a Middlesbrough and Sunderland final, it's, and also if people are asking yeah. Newcastle fans who would they prefer to go up out of Middlesbrough <laughs> and Sunderland. So. I think Middlesbrough and Sunderland's the semi final because Middlesbrough finished fourth, Sunderland finished sixth, sixth in the so third place, fifth, and well, yeah, uh, I think it's second it's, yeah. place, the fourth in there, whatever it is. No, it's not. Sunderland play Luton in the playoffs. Yeah, so it is a Middlesbrough and Sunderland Co Coventry, ah, Coventry, 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 Coventry play Borough, Sunderland play Luton. Yeah. Huh. Makes it very interesting. Makes it very interesting. Listen, listen to all the pro, Dick. Listen to the all the pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take no, this I mean, now. Luke says playoffs <laughs> is the way you want to go up to the prem. I mean, yeah, it's not a it's not a bad way of going up. 
Um, oh. Mark says it there. It's Coventry, Sunderland, and Luton Borough. Uh, what? Coventry, Sunderland versus Sunderland, and Luton versus Middlesbrough. Not according to Sky Sports, it's not. What the BBC say? <laughs> yeah, the will saying. But according to according to Sky Sports, Sunderland play Luton. I say um, with the way the tables gone, I don't know. It's but yeah, Mike said, "Oh yeah, I forgot." Um, and Max says, "Genius." Then bringing Warnock in, I think they would have been down if they didn't make that decision. Referring back to when you said about Huddersfield, yeah. Um, Kate saying about Dash was a huge figure for Burnley. I don't agree with how he went and the lack of credit of what he achieved over a decade. Glad Ashley Barnes thanked both him and Vinny in his statement. Yep, totally agree. Um, and it would absolutely be chaos, wouldn't it, if that was the playoff final? Uh, again, like you said, you ask you ask a Newcastle fan to pick pick a winner in that, they'd say, I hope Roy Chubby Brown brings out a new album. Um, it, instead, it all, yeah, I think although, if anything, he's from Borough anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, but if you, I think he's from Borough open for Sunderland. Yeah, if you was Newcastle, you know, the yeah. local rivals, would you want them to come up so you could play them? I would if it's like last with Bristol I Rivers. Think, I think they would now. I think they would yeah. now with the the money yeah. they've got, where they are in the division, the fact that yeah, bring them up, bring them up, and then we can mm. absolutely tonk them as soon as we as soon as the game comes about. Um, yeah, I can I can understand that. I mean, again, Anthony's already said it, Rich. The bottom half of the table. Um, Wigan were destined for the drop since the opening day, pretty much. It's, yeah. There's been a lot of bad decisions at that club, hasn't there? Um, yeah. Financial aspects are crippling them, players not being paid, the results just yeah. weren't coming in. And this is a team that was absolutely flying in League One the season before. And you'd have set, you'd have probably said, out of the three that came up, Wigan's probably going to do the best out of the three. I thought, I thought that beginning of the season, like you said, you know, but during the season is. It's took its toll on obviously what's happened off off the pitch. I think it's affected it on the pitch. The players they didn't know where they was getting paid the last sort of like two months, three months, whatever it was, and that do affect you. So I think it's been too many off the field antics with Wigan. But um, shame really because like you said last season they done really well, come up, played well, and I thought they would have sustained themselves in in the championship this season. But yeah, shame. But it I think is, they're the. See, the thing is, it goes either way as well. I mean, you look at the following season. I mean, you've seen it with, you've seen it with teams before. I mean, for example, you look at you all the time. You know, six years ago, we was playing them in the championship on, on Boxing Day. Now, they're down in Conference South. Do you know what I mean? It, when you go on the yeah. slide, you could carry on the slide. It, it, it's, it's mad how much football can change, how yeah. clubs can just go from having the heyday. I mean, again, MK Dons, you know, they yeah. they only started up because of, you know, the problems Wimbledon. with Wimbledon, uh, and now they're yeah. having problems yeah. themselves. You know, everyone takes the piss out of them anyway, being a franchise, and saying, "No, oh, you're only here because you built off the back of somebody else's demise." Mm. Um, but even they're having trouble. You know, down to League Two. This is Peter Winkleman, who, as you know, director of football or chairman there. Promised them Premier League in so many years, and he's not yeah. delivered. So I can understand why fans are on their back. But when you've got good clubs like Wigan, Blackpool, um, you know Reading. Let's talk about Reading. I mean, Anthony, six point deduction. They had a choice to take that next year, but they decided to take it this term, which is strange. When they were absolutely flying at the beginning of the campaign. Yeah, they were. I mean. Yeah. I when we was doing the um, prediction show, uh, Reading, I, I think they were in the playoffs at one time. They were like fourth in the league, weren't they? Yeah. Third and they fourth. And then they were bossing it. Um, they were round there, around the playoffs. It, one minute they were out, next minute they were in it, then out. And then it just slowly deteriorated and started going down. I think they've got themselves to blame for taking the points deduction this season. They shouldn't, they shouldn't have took it. They should have took it next season. They've only got their self to blame on that, like, like no, no disrespect to them. But it's like what I said, they've, they've, they've got no, um, how can I say, they haven't got that goal scorer up front, have they? I knew they got Andy Carroll up front playing for them. <laughs> yeah. You would have most probably thought he would have got, you know, scored quite a few goals in the championship. He hasn't got that many. He hasn't got that many goals at all, Andy Carroll. So, no, you know, that's it. 
no, so probably racked you know, up more went, red cards than he has yeah, goals. To be yeah, honest, yeah, 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 and he, he's he's just he's just a shame, really, because we can remember them when they were back in the um, in the Premier League with um, was, was, what was his name, Steve Couple, when he was the manager of them. So yeah, you know, Steve they, they, but I I thought there it's like with Wigan as well. They're, they're, I I said to, in, in these streams, in the prediction streams, they're even though they're relegated. They get promoted to the champion, but they do that yo-yo effect where they go from League One to Championship yeah. back into League One, and unfortunately, that's. I that's, don't that's see. I don't one. think it's going to be like that for them now. I think there's that much shit off the field with Wigan. Um, yeah. You know, players not getting yeah. paid. The the these own question marks over the ownership. Um, it's just it's looking really really bleak again for another Northern club. You know, we've seen Oldham. Drop to the yeah. drop to uh, drop out the football league. Um, obviously, I'm talking Northern. I know you're a southern like southern uh, team supporter, but you know we've had the likes of Bury, Alderman. Uh, you know Bury folded um, because of incompetent owners. Oldham have got now gone to non-league. They're going to have to rebuild. Bolton was on the brink, um, wasn't they? What's that? Bolton Wonders was on the brink, wasn't they? Back last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, you know they, they've yeah. had they've had to you know drop a couple of divisions before they can try and build themselves back up again, and yeah. you know even they, they I think they're still having to battle it out for a playoff place in you know to come up to the championship for League One. So yeah. and they're up against some really good teams, you know the likes of Sheffield Wednesday who dropped off towards the back end. It it is going to be a struggle. Uh, there is some big 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 clubs in these lower divisions that you don't expect to be anywhere near it, and seem yeah. to be. Um, well, again, part and parcel of football, uh, a decision, you know, wrong decisions. And yeah, Luke says there, Macclesfield as well. You know, Macclesfield yeah, Town. Um, it's, nobody likes, I mean, it, it, it's the same. You wouldn't want to see, you wouldn't want to see Bristol Rovers liquidated. Yes, it's funny to see them relegated. Yes, it's funny to see them, uh, you know, get beat every week or whatever. But then to liquidise a club and then no longer have that rivalry would be a bit shit, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, it would be a bit shit. But to be honest with you, if you ask any Rovers fans that was on here, they um, they they would say exactly the same about us. They 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 yeah. if we went like that, they they would just rip the piss out of us like we would rip the piss out of them, and 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 that's it, you know. And we we just give a load of shit to their precious Irene. So um, you know who. Uh, I don't know, but he's probably being fingered in the toilets or something. I don't know. But um, <laughs> this could move back to um, proper football now instead of Bristol Rovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, John says QPR are losing a shed load each week. Next year will be tough for them. Yeah, it will. QPR have been shite since the turn of the uh, turn of the year and World Cup ending. Uh, as Ginger Ali says there as well, Aki Stanley, yeah, they, they've been a bit of a staple in League One. Yeah. Uh, and obviously now dropped to League Two. And fingers crossed, John Coleman and Jimmy Bell, uh, the managerial duo there, will uh, sort them out and get them back up. But time will tell. Um, football's adapting. And as a football club, you adapt or die. Um, you can't. We've seen it with Burnley. You know, we've gone from long ball specialists who play anti football. To having to now get the ball down and adapt with the way the uh, that football's evolving at, at, at an alarmingly fast rate, um, yeah, very, very, very worrying and challenging for a few clubs. But let's get in to the nitty gritty of it then. What we're here for? This is the results. Now, obviously, this week um, we had twelve games to cover, uh, and. It was very, very interesting. Very, very interesting to say the least. Um, so, just what people are saying in the areas. Luke says nobody wants a football club to fold and liquidate. It ruins that rivalry aspect. Yeah. Um, Coach's Corner is in the chat. Hope you are well. Um, John says Oxford is my shocking league one. Thought they would do better. They've done shit since. Oh, who it they used to have up top? Is it? James Constable or something like that it were called. Yeah. But he were he would he was he were decent. He were a decent player. Either way. Decent, um, <laughs> yeah. um so yeah, we did cover the final day. Twelve games were up for grabs. We had Birmingham against Sheffield United, Burnley against Cardiff, Huddersfield, Reading, 
Luton, Hull, Borough, Coventry, which, as we all know, is going to be a playoff fixture. Um, Millwall took on the Bastards. Norwich, Blackpool, Preston, Sunderland, QPR, Bristol City, Swansea, West Brom, Watford, Stoke and Wigan, Rotherham. However, however, this was the results. Um, and Rich, can I just say, uh, beginner's luck maybe, but um, yeah. 9 out of 12, that's pretty good going, mate. Pretty good going. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I had to think about this when the whistles went on. Was it Bank Holiday Monday or okay? nine? I thought I had to sit here. Yeah. I, I couldn't remember that. So my brother messaged me today saying it was nine. I was a bit shocked with that, to be honest with you. But has my brother been doing this all season with you, Dad? Um, yeah, pretty much since about three quarters of the way in, yeah. So it took me one round to get nine points. Has he ever had nine points? No, yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, nah. See, I, I, think you the, I, no, I think the best you've best you've had is seven, I think. And listen to you again, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had no, six, that. you had six one week and predicted six, so you got a bonus point, so you've got seven then. I don't know what that... Yeah, no, you got seven. Seven's the ice you got. Is it? Yeah. I bet you feel better than him, yeah? No, no, I think he's right. I didn't feel too bad. It's like what Dan said, Dick. He's beginner's luck. Change that we'll thing for Dick. Got the C we'll in see. letters in it. We'll we got the C in C in there. Put the D in the K. Is that a K or H? <laughs> <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Hang on, Do you man. know what the surprising results were, Rich, that you pulled out? I mean, the Blackpool. likes of... Yeah, Blackpool. Blackpool getting a result. You you were the only one to predict Wigan Rotherham to finish a, a draw. Um, you, went for a, you went for a draw between Borough and Coventry. Nobody else did as well. Um, you went for Swansea to beat West Brom. You know, all these results where you were on your own and no one was with you, yeah, you managed to pull them out of the bag. What's that? <laughs> I've done it all on my own, Dan. You have. You have. You single-handedly did it, mate. Yeah. Single-handedly did it with that. Um, which ain't I bad. Should've... Ain't bad. I should have been better shot than that. Mm. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. First, and one, and wants said, to first punch the armchair. Armchair. Really wants to punch his armchair. He wants to punch his armchair. He wants to scream into a pillar. <laughs> I know, I know. That trouble is, though, that nine, uh, Rich. Let's be honest. You, you didn't get, you didn't get nine point. You didn't get the uh, nine right in the in, in the game. You, 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 you. It was rated nine, but something else was rated nine, and it wasn't your score predictions. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Ed. Enlighten me. <laughs> nah, it yeah, was. You got nine right. You got nine right. I'm. I. I knew I'd most probably get five. I. I always say, if I get five or six right, I between there that Dan always asks me how many points uh, do you think you're going to get, and every week I always say six. I always split it down for the middle, and I always Dan. Don't. Yeah. One and one and. Messaged me that earlier on. He said, because I won this week as beginners, he said I had a prize. It's, it's a £10 Just Eat voucher. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> from what I... Fucking okay, no, hell, that's just a sample I've, for you. What I've seen on the uh, street cameras, <laughs> you've already had it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. Fair play. <laughs> What football's it? Oh my what god, he's definitely he's god. definitely the last one, the one with the fork in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him that one. <laughs> hey, my play, do not, that was why he gave you a nine. Do not blame me. Do not blame me. It was my missus who said that. It was my missus who said that, Rich. She went, she went do you not think uh, Anthony's brother looks like uh, Danny from Rate My Takeaway? So I, when I looked up pictures, and I was like, "Shitty, eh? 
Oh, it's quality. <laughs> I didn't have that water, that one. Yeah, first show, I like that. <laughs> that is actually that is actually better than the last twenty years I've been called Peter K. So I'm pleased with that. Hey, happy days, happy days. Yeah. I mean, let's put an end to it all then. To who is uh, the cream of the crop? I finished on a hundred and twenty-eight. Um, which I thought isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. However, I only got there because I predicted to get five right. I did get five right. Pardon me. So I got the bonus point, um, which is always helps. So I finished on 128. However, my other half also finished on 128. So... I don't know. We'll have to argue it out for second and third. I don't know. I mean, she's a woman who doesn't love an argument. Um, <laughs> but then that leads us on to Ant. Now, what did Anthony get? Well, it wasn't 128. I can confirm that the winner <laughs> is Anthony Herber. <laughs> yes. There he is. A great big there lump of shit. shit. <laughs> a big lump of shit. He uh, finished <laughs> with 137 points, or nine points in front of me and Kate, which uh, is good going, mate. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Really good going. Pulled some uh, real results out over those weeks. And I thought yeah, I had to get you a sort of funny trophy. Oh, it's brilliant. If that's a trophy that can that stay with me for the rest of my life, Dan. <laughs> fucking smell already, follow. See, man. What, well. what did you win man. on that? Oh, I just, I just want a pile of shit, mate. <laughs> that's it. The first place was pile of shit. <laughs> you got the oh, <laughs> I won't take this. I won't take this. Luke's put in. Is that the Bristol City badge, Dan? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's the badge, mate. <laughs> and Max said, who was copying who on, on that, Dan and Kate? Not Kate would do hers separately and I'd do mine separately. Um, Kate usually puts hers in in my little notebook. She usually puts it in. Um, and then, obviously, I, I'll do mine while we're chatting, while me and Anthony were chatting over, over it. But I'm looking forward to next year, boys, you know, doing it doing the Premier League predictions. However, we are going to do it a little bit different. So uh, we did have a bit of a trial run during the Cup. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to keep similar format, uh, yeah. home, draw or away. Well, pretty much going to be like that anyway. But we are your points is going to be based on the scoreline you give. So this time round, you are going to have to give a scoreline. If you get the scoreline, bob on you get three points. If you get it just in favour of the team, um, then obviously you get a point. Um, same if you, say you pick 2-2, two, two, but then it finishes 1-1, one, one, you'd still only just get one point because you still predicted a draw, but you didn't get the correct score. But we are going to do it that way, so it makes things a little bit more interesting. Um, mm. So it should be should be a laugh. Um, however, it has been a short one. I know it was tried to keep it to an hour, but we are just under forty five minutes. Anthony, I never asked you earlier on, but where can people check out the stuff that you do on social media and everything like that? Yeah, um, you can find me on a show on Friday nights. Uh, I present a show called Gunners from All Corners. Friday's at nine. Uh, we're just getting um, Arsenal fans on there, but I've slightly changed it now. It's nice to get a neutral fan on there as well, you know, just to get their insight of the games and that. Either um, a, just a, a fan from any team or a fan who Arsenal um, is just beaten or is going to play in the next game, that sort of thing. So, you know, it, it, it is a good show. We talk obviously all things Arsenal. Um, there, we have a bit of a debate. And um, we just have a laugh on there. And that's just what makes a good stream. Also on the same channel, um, on Monday nights at 8 o'clock, I do another show on there, which is the um, the Premier League uh, weekend show. 
uh, we, we pick um, three or four of the best uh, Premier League games that was played on that weekend. We talk about them. I'm actually um, Dick's a member on that show. And every now and then he comes on, if he can come on, he's um, gunners from all corners as well. You know, just uh, just because being just brothers, piss, we've, always done it for <laughs> years. we've always talked about football. We love football. And let's be honest, football came first before the misses. So let's be honest. That, that's, that's fair enough. That's yeah. it. You, can change, you can change you, you can change a girl, but you can't change your you can't change your football club, can you? That's right, Dan. For once, for once I'll agree with my brother on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, M Max says next season one result will be pretty much wrapped up. It'll be a banker. City versus Burnley will be five one or five nil. Uh, which, yeah, to be honest, would not surprise me in the slightest. It always seems to be. However, who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. Um, congrats again, Anthony, for um, winning it over the season. Um, you know, a- any last words? I just want to be. I just want to thank everybody that's watched the the stream this season. You know, your likes, your comments. Your comments has been brilliant. Obviously, getting down over one k as well, subscribers. That's that's like you know, well done and well done, Dan, for that. I appreciate it. And also, well done, Kate, because you've been there. You know floating in the background, helping out as well. So we can't forget Kate, can we, Dan? And nah, um, nah. I just... Without a... Is the best... I basically, it's just the best trophy I've ever won, a, a, a fucking part of shit. So, um, <laughs> you know, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick, are you looking forward to coming back next year? Doing it? Yeah, doing definitely. It I mean, season? been on that, come on last week as a guest for the first time and, and tonight has been great. Um... Obviously, joining with the comments all season, having a bit of banter and stuff, and everything. Yeah, it's been yeah. been great. So, yeah, definitely be back next season. Looking forward to it, especially when you're up against the big boys, and we got to get the the actual scores right now. Like you said, we ought to do it on goal difference as well. Oh, what? We ought to do it. We ought to do it on goal difference as well. Oh, buddy, hell, that'd be too. I've only got a little tall. note, bad. <laughs> Me. How much homework do you want to set down? I don't know. It's crass. I want to spend time with my kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, it's been great. It's been nice to come on last week or two and, and having a laugh and a good bit of banter and everything. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So definitely, definitely looking forward to next season with, with the Bear 100%. Yeah. 100%. Another question. Another if people cool. don't think that we're ready, if people don't think we're ready, we are. We hundred percent are. It's all it's all in the pat line. It's all in the pat line. I mean, I don't need to do anything. Uh apart from the facts. Let me just get um let me get that back up. I know it says the EFL, but look, I, I, we're already all set. We've got like a Premier League background and everything. It's all it's all set for next season. Don't worry about it. It's all set. That is even us. <laughs> I'm I'm all I'm all set, all set. But um yeah. for now, for now, until next season, we are still champions talking championship tonight. Um thank you very much. Congratulations on your uh, winning the league and everything. Best best wishes for next season as well. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I hope City can come up and join us as well. Big it'd be good. You've got more chance for ranking that was, aren't you? <laughs> He has to sit there. Doctor told him to. His back's fucked. <laughs> yeah, his back's well, fucked. Do you know what? When Dick comes and visits, he's always in there as well. <laughs> Do you know what? His missus, his missus, the last four weeks, my back keep going around and shot every other day and buying 12 packs of batteries, man. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> like a southern Jim Ryle. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got it. Southern Jim Ryle. <laughs> Uh, must say as well, <laughs> massive, massive respect to uh, Brad, who does the Top 10 Battles channel. Obviously, there's a link to um, Brad's channel in the description of this video. Um, yeah. And obviously, uh, we do help out on that whenever he's planning on going live again next. Um, but yeah, and you can also check out Anthony's um, Twitter link. If you've got any links, which you need, want me to put in for next year, um, then let me know. I'll put like, yeah, a link there on social uh, socials yeah. and stuff. Well, that is it from us. That is it for this season in terms of everything now. 
Um, as you said there, Andrew, should open it up to more next season. Well, more people are welcome. More people are welcome. Um, as I say, it's the, we, we'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Um, Dan? Yes. Yeah? Before we go, can you put that picture up again in me, please? Gladly, mate. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There Do you know what? That was three separate days I went down that cafe and I ordered the bur bourbon chips, chicken chips and, and that one there. I was going to get veg, but I thought your missus might have cooked it, so I didn't bother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. So you see where you said it. Do you know what, Dan? And these pictures, the amount of meals that he's had in there, I think my brother's on a fucking diet. <laughs> <laughs> that's some meals there, my knowing it. Well, that's a start for you, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat no more like that, can you? No. Nah. <laughs> no. Build nothing like for next season. Yeah, no, well, fingers crossed, it, it's going to be a laugh for us all. As I say, people, yeah, please do tune in um, next season. We will get it up and run in. Join us. We have got plenty of videos coming throughout the summer. We'll be hopefully getting on one of the players from this season's um, promotion winning squad. Um, that's in talks at the moment, but uh, yeah. can't say any more on who. Um, but fingers crossed we can get that to you live at some point. Uh, if not, then we will be doing a, a team of the season maybe, also a Burnley end of season review, and there'll be a few obviously like transfer rumour shows and things like that for you to sink your teeth into. Um, but other than that, we will be back. Kit reviews the lot next season. Um, I'm going to go and have a lie down. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, it's nearly here. Uh, it's weekend eve. Uh, and yeah, we will be back very soon with another video. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching.